Hello, it's Brick Bros UK and we have the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Captain America Jet Pursuit 76076 which is the smallest Marvel set to come out at the start of 2017 if you don't include the Mighty Micro sets. And it's priced at £19.99p, $19.99 and €24.99. And Euros and 99 cents. It's also got a cool battle graphic on the box set with Captain America in his jet with Miss Marvel taking on Super Adaptoid. And on the back, it looks fun as well with all the play feature images. So let's move on and get this set built. And here it is. Now it took us 16 minutes to build and it consists of 160 pieces. You also get three cool minifigures who are Pilot, Captain America and the new to Lego and unique to this set Miss Marvel and Super Adaptoid which is a nice lineup. And the only build is Captain America's red, white and blue fighter jet. But before we check that out, let's look at these minifigures. And first up is Pilot Captain America who has plain blue legs which could have been improved with maybe some printing. But we love its brown printed bomber jacket with its fur collar, red and white stripes with star and belt giving him a more World War II vintage look which we like. He also has black hands for gloves and his usual printed shield piece. Then as we come round the torso's back printing is just as good as the front and his blue head has these straps printed on the back and they marry up to his face on the front creating his blue eyed pilot goggles to go with his stern face. And that's pilot Captain America who we think is worth getting for the cool new bomber jacket alone. Next up is Miss Marvel who you might or might not know but she's the exact same Kamala Khan version of the character in the Lego Marvel Avengers game. With the same printed blue legs and torso creating the yellow lightning bolt uniform with red necktie at the top. She's also the first minifigure in Lego to have long rubber arms which we will check out in a minute. However, we should mention the torso and arms are one whole piece so you can't take the arms off because the holes are too small, which means she can't have normal arms sadly. But moving up, her hairpiece is the same long dark brown one as the Batman vs Superman Wonder Woman's in the Sky High battle set and it's a quality looking piece. She also has a dual female head with normal and happy faces with the printed on extra blue eye mask the hero wears. And it's also great she has that darker skin tone just like Kamala Khan. And at the back the torso has the rest of the red necktie printed on. Now the most eye catching part of Miss Marvel is her flexible long red arms that run through her torso and are something new and fun to play with. She also gets these larger fist pieces that you can clip onto the hands at the end to increase their size and the left one has extra gold printed on for her bangle which is a nice touch. And for play you can pull the arm across to extend one and make it super long or our favourite use for them is to tie the arms in a knot. And this skill is very useful for grabbing villains like Super Adaptoid. And overall we like the look of this Kamala Khan Miss Marvel and we love the new flexible long arms that are a fun feature to use. And last up it's Super Adaptoid who's based on the Avengers Assemble animated series character that's an android that replicates his foe's abilities. And you can see this on the minifigure because he has a light grey suit created from plain legs with a Thor style silver armour printed on the torso. He also has this new mold light grey helmet which is the same mold as Invincible Iron Man's in Detroit Steel Strikes. But this one for Super Adaptoid has this nice shiny silver faceplate printed on the front. Then at the back he's got Falcon's red wings and under them the torso has more silver armour printing. And if we remove his helmet he only gets a plain grey head because he's an android. And just like Iron Man minifigures he gets trans light blue feet thrusters and studs for his hands. And that's Super Adaptoid who we think is a cool new villain to get, mainly for his awesome new mold silver helmet and armour that looks great. Now because he uses Iron Man's abilities he gets free of these trans light blue power blast pieces that are new for 2017 Marvel sets. And they clip into minifigure hands quite easily then when you want to fire them you push the power blast piece against the arms. And we found these work great with Iron Man in Detroit Steel Strikes giving him hand blast weapons for play. But with Super Adaptoid there was a slight problem because we found his wings get in the way of your fingers which is annoying and it's a bit tricky to fire them but eventually we were able to blast the superheroes. And even with this slight annoyance we still like the new power blast pieces. Moving on it's Captain America's jet which like we said at the beginning has a good red, white and blue patriotic colour scheme. It's also got a new design but because of the limited pieces it feels like a Lego Junior's build. Now at the front it's got an angled white and red cockpit with the Captain America shield logo sticker on the nose. 
They've also added these Captain Steve Rogers stickers on the sides in case he forgets which colourful jet is his. And above these stickers, the curved canopy adds to the jet's unique design and it lifts up easily so you can get into the cockpit. And inside is a black seat with leg slot for Captain America and this cool sticker control panel that has Super Adaptoid in the computer's target site. But a handy touch is this clip behind the seat where you can store Cap shield and it's useful for play because you won't need to leave it behind when Captain America's flying. And when you're ready to fly you can clip in the shield and put pilot Captain America in then close up the canopy. Following on the jet's red and white wings are identical and are hinged so they can sit in the V-shaped position. They also have these angled red plates giving them a sleek look and with the blue and red tiles on top they have a smooth finish with the JC87 sticker on each one just for extra detail. Now the jet's middle construction is all blue and slopes nicely down to the tail and to break up the blue colour they've added white star stickers on opposite sides. And the jet's large tail is also all blue and created with angle plates for the base with two blue tail fins on top that are decorated with a sticker on each for the outside. Then right at the back and built into the tail is the jet's engines that are simply made from two gunmetal wheel pieces with trans orange studs for thrusters and they look really cool with the fins above. Now for play the jet has a few cool features and at the back between the engines is this dark grey plate which you can push in to move the hinge wings forward. And it's really easy to do and useful for quickly putting the jet's wings into an attack position. The wings also house these light grey disc shooters underneath and you can simply activate each one by pushing in the dark tan Technic rod from the other side. Which is a terrible colour and not in keeping with the jet's overall colour scheme plus they look a bit crude sticking out of the wing and might have benefited from a stud or brick piece on each end to cover them up. But anyway this play feature is good because you get 4 printed Captain America shield dishes for ammunition and they're easy to fire and really send minifigures flying which is what we love to see. And finally underneath the jet it doesn't have landing gear so it's got two blue slider plates so it can land easily and be displayed. But for a cool extra each disc shooter has a dark grey hand grip sticking out so Miss Marvel's long arms can clip on for a fun ride and it's great they added these so she won't get left behind. And that's the cool Captain America jet which can dive bomb Super Adaptoid with Miss Marvel or without her but either way it's great for play. On a final note the Lego Captain America's Jet Pursuit set has some cool new minifigures and an okay build which is why we're giving it a brick rating of 4 out of 5 bricks. Because it's all about the minifigures and the new to Lego Super Adaptoid and Miss Marvel look awesome with some great printing on each one. And our favourite pieces are Super Adaptoid's silver helmet and Miss Marvel's flexible arms that bring something new to play and change up minifigures. And even though Captain America comes in many sets this pilot version with the bomber jacket is nice to get as well. And for the jet it's obviously not a display model but for the price and set piece count we like it with its movable wings, colour scheme, disc shooters and handy grips for Miss Marvel and if you combine it with Super Adaptoid's power blast pieces it all should add to a fun aerial battle for play and we'd recommend it for its play potential. Hope you enjoyed a Brick Bros UK LEGO review and don't forget to check out our channel for more LEGO reviews and like, comment and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.